Hello Python programmers, this video is part of my short video series where I create something small but fun and interesting. So in this video, we are going to create a python script which will convert your PDF file into a TXT file. Now you can think of multiple application for this small script. So without wasting any time, let's get started. Okay, so we are into our folder. Let's create a new file. By obviously with the name one dot py. Let's open this with sublime tech. Now you need only one external module or package for this project which is pypdf2 let me show you how to install it write pip install make sure that this p is capital and this pdf is capital write pypdf2 now for me it's already installed but but you may have to install it so first let's import our library Now let's create a file object variable. So we'll name it with something relevant. Let's write PDF file obj and then we'll open our PDF file. Our PDF file is by the name one.pdf. If you want this file, you can see from the link in the description the github link will be given where you can find this script as well as the pdf file so the opening method will be rb now let's create a reader variable which will read this pdf file object this is not ong this should be obj makes more relevant so let's create a pdf reader variable Once again, this P is capital, this Y is small, and PDF is capital. Dot the class name, which is PDF file reader. This P is capital, DF is small, then this F is capital, and then this R is capital. Then write your file object name, which is PDF file object. Now let's create a variable which will store the number of pages of this PDF file. Now, however, in my PDF file, I'm just having one page. But if you're using a big PDF file with like 50 pages, then you may want to just extract a few pages like first five, first ten. So you can specify here that how many pages you want to extract. So first we'll save the number of pages from that PDF file into a variable. Let's say that x PDF reader a variable here dot num page. I guess this P should be capital. Yes, and sh and it should be number of pages. Okay. Now let's create another variable which will just select the selected number of pages let's say page object and our page object will be pdf reader dot get again this p is capital pages i will write x minus one because python indentation starts with zero now we'll create another variable text which will store all the text data from a pdf file now i guess this by pdf2 library can only be used to extract the text data 
I have really not worked on how to extract the media data like the images or video or anything like that. If you have worked on it then share the link with me how to do that so I can also learn it. <laughs> so we'll extract the text data dot extract text this is the class name this t is capital then as we have extracted the data from our pdf file let's save this into a txt file we'll use file handling m let's say a variable file one then we'll open if you are on windows then please put this r before you write the path name uh, so let me go to the folder in which i want this file to be saved click on properties and then copy this path go back to the folder paste it here two slashes then the name of my file one dot txt now let's write our text into our file it will be file one dot write lines and the variable name will be text here this is the variable in which we have stored the extracted text data now it's always a good habit to close the file after you are done it should be a dot so let's save this and i guess we are good to go coming back to the folder shift plus mouse right click open powershell window here just write python one dot py i have an n i have an error because it should be get page it is not get pages it should be get page save this run it again okay now it was such a silly mistake because I haven't provided the method which will be used for this file handling. Now we are using a method because according to a or append method if the file is present into that folder it will append the data into that file and if it is not present which is our current situation because we have no file as one dot txt into a folder it will automatically create okay so now let's save this and i guess we are good to go back to our folder it runs let me go back to our folder and here you can see our text file is created if we open this we can see the two lines which was present in our PDF file inserted into our txt file okay so this was it for this video I hope you like it and I'll meet you in all of my these projects bye bye